Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to film for you my third update on my 14 by February 14th Love to Project Pan. This was a collab tag kind of project pan started by Bethany from Glamour with Grace and Kristen from the Kristen K channel. And um, like I said, this is the third update. My makeup's a little dramatic today. I'm going to a concert tonight, so I wanted to play around a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and get into this because I have a very short time to film before I have to leave. And so I'm going to go ahead and start with the things that I finished first. And the first thing that I finished up is the NYX Angel Veil and I didn't cut this open there is still some shadowing of product probably on the lining of this package I was going to cut it open but then I thought that it had been finished actually for a day or two and I didn't know how the product would be if I opened it and scraped it off the sides so I just went ahead and called this done there's very little product in there left the next product that I finished up is the Tarte Smooth, I think it's the Smooth Operator Powder Loose. And I had taken the little um, sifter off of this a while ago just because it was getting difficult with the small amount. This is where I was at the last update and now I have completely finished the product altogether. The next product that I finished is the Balm Hot Mama blush which probably isn't surprising considering my progress at the last update that is completely done. I surprised I surprised myself with finishing this product. I didn't think that um, putting several blushes um, in this project was going to be a good thing but I'm very happy with this. It was slow going at first but I ended up getting it done. And the very last product that I finished is the NARS Copacabana Highlighter. I did cut this open and I scraped the walls and there's still some very tiny bit of product left but it was starting to dry because I used so little it was open that way for several days before I um, finished it so it was getting a little dry. So I will go ahead and show you the products that you can visibly see without me having to hold up to a card because that is the bane of my existence. So the first product that I have is the Very Sexy Now Body Spray and because I used up forgot what I used up, but I used up something, and so I started using, oh, my MAC Traquatic. I started using this, and this is where I was the last time, and now I am down to here. So I've been applying this pretty religiously every day, and I've made some good progress. The next product that I have is my Rimmel London Autumn Catwalk blush, bl bl blush, blush, and as you can see, I have tried to keep my markings on the packaging here just to um, kind of visually see, but I will post a picture from the last update as well, and this is where I'm at with this product. The next product you're not going to see any progress at all on. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. I do use this every day and I personally can see a difference. The, the pan is going down along the edges. So you can see that and that is the kind of progress that I can kind of visually see every day. This side of the pan is the lowest for some reason. I try to go in the center. I'm really trying to hit pan, but I wouldn't be upset if it started to go down at the edges first because that's what's the hardest to get out at the end anyways. So I think it's actually kind of helping me out. The next two products don't have any progress at all. This one does have a card to go with it, but I'm not going to even bother to hold it up. It's messy. I haven't used this Tarte Cheek uh stain in the color flush in some time now. I've kind of stopped wanting to use this. I think I'm going to start trying to use this just to, that's all that's in this product. I've gotten some progress but I'm going to just dot this on my cheeks and um, blend it out and use it. But I have two cream shadows in my 2016 Makeup Use Up. So maybe I'll make this a third or maybe I'll switch this out for one of them um, or just try to get as much progress as I can. But I'm going to try and focus on this for the next month and try and have some progress for the next update. 
and this is the pink warm and cozy I haven't touched this this is the exact same I don't want to have too much going at one time although I have two different schools of thought on it I want to finish one thing before I start the next but when I have multiples um, maybe it's just good to make progress on both things so I can show progress so maybe I'll just switch over to this one and start using this and so the last uh, five things here are all products that I am going to show you a comparison against the cards but I will tell you that my Mac NW20 does not have any progress at all. So this is where it was at the last update. That's where it is now. And I have marked it here on the actual tubing because this is going to be in my 2016 makeup use up. So this is going to be my progress line for that. And then I still have the card for this project. So I'm trying to start using these more and mix them in with my foundations and stuff. And I am wearing several of the products from my um, project today, although you can't necessarily see them. I'm wearing the Autumn Catwalk Blush. I'm wearing the NW15 MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I am wearing the um, Very Sexy Now Perfume and the Brow Architect um, I'm wearing. And oh, and the Too Faced Chocolate Sole Bronzer. So the next thing that I have um, going along with the other Pro Longwear, this is my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW15. And um, I measured this where you can actually see the progress. And that is, you can't see it in the bottle because there's little um, open spots. But that's where I am is that very bottom line right there. There. The next product I have is my Tarte, the Brow Architect, and um, this is really, really, really difficult. This is as far as I can roll it up. I'm not going to take this out on camera just because it is so difficult. It's so small. Well, I'll take it out and show you, but this is the little product right there. And I will just show you the progress on the card. I did take it out and measure it on the card. It's very slow going. Um, it's that very uh, bottom line there. And the last two products are my lip glosses. Again, these are in my 16 in 2016 lippy challenge. And so I've marked them for that. But this is the Buxom White Russian. It's hard to hold it up against the paper. And I did measure it from um, where the product starts, not where the frosted glass starts. So um, that is where I'm at with this project on the Buxom White Russian. And the see-through glass is the same kind of deal. Um, I marked it for the other project. But this is where I'm at with this product right now. So I've made some progress on that. So that is my update for my Love to Project Pan 14 by February 14th. There is about a month left in this project. It is the 14th of January today. So um, I look forward to seeing all of your updates and um, all of that. And please share with me below if you're doing this project, if I haven't seen your video or if I haven't checked out your channel. I really do mean that. I love to find new project panners every day. So um, share with me down below your video links or let me know that you're doing this project and I will come over and check you out. And I hope you guys have a great day. I will see you in my next one. Bye.